As you know, we're working through McShane's two-year Bible reading program, and we just have finished up week number seven, the passages for that week. were Genesis 45 through Exodus 1, and then Mark 15 through Luke chapter 4. And so today's Bible reading spotlight comes from the passage out of that reading there, Genesis chapter 49 and verse 22. I'm going to read that for you here. Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. And here in this passage, we have Joseph's father, Jacob, Israel, and he's recognizing the work of God's hand upon the life of his son, Joseph. And he says, Joseph is a fruitful bough. He says he's been shot at by the archers. He's been grieved sorely by them. He's recognizing the difficulties that have come in Joseph's life. And, you know, we can relate to that a little bit in our own lives. Each and every one of us have our own difficulties, have our own uh, things that grieve us, have our own trials. And so Israel recognizes another thing, that Joseph was a fruitful bough, and not only that, that he, was, that he abode in strength. And that phrase there, abode in strength, was important because Joseph didn't just abide in strength whenever he was in Pharaoh's house, but yet even in Potiphar's house, even in the prison, even as a servant, he abode in strength. And as we have trials and difficulties in our life, it is important that we look to God to, as the passage says, to strengthen our hands, that our hands can be strengthened even during the midst of struggles, that we too can abide in strength. Remember to stay faithful in the reading of the word. Our passages for week number eight are coming up here, and it's going to be Exodus chapter 2 through Exodus 8 and Luke chapter 5 through Luke chapter 11. As you remember to stay faithful in your, uh, in your Bible reading, remember also to speak to others by the word.